Hello there once again and welcome back to our cracking spree of booster packs. So this time it's Ikoria and made in Belgium. So one of the few remaining boxes that I have and this box doesn't have a sticker or pin or something. So yeah, well, it exists somewhere in some kind of system, I think, but no serialization. Well, hmm, interesting. First box that I have this case. Oh well, well, doesn't matter. Let's see what is inside. Maybe I did get a fake, uh, a fake box. Don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think so. At least only a little bit cracked and ripped. Oh nice. Didn't think that there was a box topper. Okay, we'll have this for later. So let us see and let us hope. This time we are starting once again with the pillar system because then I can just rule them over and everything is fine. So starting with pack number one. We've got a, oh yeah, it's a normal European setup. So first the commons, afterwards uncommons and so on. Like you know. So I've got a rambling rock side, general enforcer. That's a good one. Neutralize, oh yeah, loose. That's a good pick. That's a very good pick for the first one. So, second one, I'll zoom in a little bit. Size 1.4, I think, that's a good one for you. And that's also a good pack. At least uh, it didn't want to be opened directly. We made a bushwhack, like this card. Tentative connection is a good one. Mysterious egg, fun little thing. Blazing volley can be played rather good. Easy prey. Merchant ultimatum is a nice one. Back Boneyard Lurker, and that's it. Nice cards, nice cards. So, yeah, like always, uh, as you don't know because I haven't told you, I'm one of the typical uh, bouldering people right now. So, us boulderers, we are pretty much like uh, the new vegan people, I'd say, because why do you know somebody, somebody is spoiling? Because he tells it <laughs> and he doesn't shut up about it. So yeah, I can really recommend the sports. Uh, good for the muscle, good for the build, good for, uh, yeah, for pretty much everything, for your health, for your mind, uh, for a uh, nice card and a cupboard, and that's also good. And a companion card, can work with that. And yeah, only you have to take care of your uh, yeah, of your joints a little bit because if you are going on a little bit more strongly inside it, uh, yeah, you have to take care of for your body, like pretty much with, with every sport that there is, because yeah, it is a little bit uh, strong on the body, so don't be too fast with everything and just go through, enjoy the, your time with everything and. Make yourself strong. Make a little bit of a connection because mostly, like the vegan people, and I'm not vegan, uh, boulders are pretty much a big community and everyone is taken in with uh, good fun and everyone is helping each other out. That's also why so many people are in oh, Geruda. Geruda. Ugh, can't, can't spell it. Uh, that there are so many people that are yeah, just happy and happily telling about the sports because, yeah, it's good for your body, it's good for your mind, it's good for uh, socialization. So, yeah, it's it's simply nice. Light of hope. Fun card. I think I can put this over here. It's a hammer flash, Savai Crystal, Voracious Great Shark. Fun card. <laughs> Corpse Churn and... Uh, I really don't like these non-token, non-use cards because only for uh, for some kind of advertisement we are we are already playing. Why, why do we need an advertisement? I simply don't understand this. Adaptive Shimmerer, Sculpt Prophet is a good one. The Ozalit, nice, very very good card, very strong card, very thought after card. And it's always looking good. So, yeah, it's good to use. I've got an unlikely 8. 
also looking a little bit like one of the cards for the new set that's just dropping next week. So we've got an Ivy Elemental, Frontland Felidar, and a Flame Spell and a Foil. Okay, works, works, works. What else do we have here? Foxtower. <laughs> it's working. It's waiting. It's shining in the backyard. <laughs> Void Bekona. Oh yeah, the evil one, Dranit Magistrate. The evil commander blocker. If that's out, nobody except you is playing a commander. This thing is pure evil in each and every commander round. Thwart the enemy. Uh, enemy. We've got a Chris. Christasian. Christasian. A oh, crap. Easy like that. Zenith flare and first triome. Very nice. But no mythics up till now. Let's see. Let's see what we can get. Giant magistrate. Also one of the cards that I think I will play directly myself because of the many. Play, uh, commander decks that I have. There's only one stack stack and this will love it. Heartless Act, we've got a Runus Ultimatum and a Mythical Subduel. Runus Ultimatum was just reprinted in the, la in the latest Fallout Commander set and their collector boosters. So yeah, it's a very, very strong card. And this one is the original, I think. Don't know from something before that. Sanctuary Lockdown and Lava Brink thing. What is called Venturer. Adventurers like this extinction event in foil. Nice. Very, very cool cards. And also, the cut is shiny and strong. So, very, very cool. I really like it. So, pray tell me what is. Good, the lighting from in the day, or is this lighting in the night with an extra strong uh, light in the background? A real, the first mythic, very nice. Uh, is this also good? Okay, maybe even better because it's so strong and saturating the, co uh, the colors, but giving a little bit of a shadow. Tell me if you would like, if you wouldn't mind. So, blood curdle. Got to jump in Gnar, Charge, and a Mythic Luca Copper Code Outcast. Fun card. In the alternative art. That's a nice one. Not really more, uh, worth much, but I'm missing this Planeswalker, so I think I'll put this to my collection. Just to my normal one. So I've got a Corpse Churn, Ram Through is a good one, Aegis, Plummet. Thundermane, Valiant Rescuer, the Quartzwood Crusher. This card is, I think, still very, very strong because there are many and more decks where a uh, Trample is a good deal. When you get Doubling Seasoned out, you'll get two of those and so on. So this one is really, really strong. It's a good one. Don't know why it's played so scarce. Gem Razor, nice one. And a Human Soldier. <sighs> I already like this box. So let's see what else is coming out. Feeling what our fun little. Is, is it a pet? Nah, not a pet, but a, a freelancer. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Karuga and a Festival Ambush. Fun cards. So of the Companions, we've already got two of those. Let's see what else we can grab and get. So we've got shredded sails. So let's hope, let's see. We've got flourishing fox, fun card. Neutralize, sea dash octopus, and a cat. Somehow this cat, I don't know. The, the gaze it has, it's, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit too uncatty. If I can say it like that. Yeah, it's a cat with horns, but still. Springing, spring jaw trap. Spring jaw trap. Fun card. <sighs> Just opened the, the this emergent ultimatum. Another one. The Companion. 
and yeah, we just opened Throne of Eldrain, and we've gone through all the uh, through the stories that Throne of Eldrain had, and yeah, this one is just monsters, fun, cool, little tiny monsters, as you can see. Go for blood, multi big. We've got even another T. Whirlwind of thought. This is a good or strong. Oh, Lutri spell chaser. That's also strong and. And it's foiling this, also looks nice. Yeah, I like it. Lutri the Spell Chaser. Fun little card. So, I think for, yeah, Ikoria also had the collector displays, but I don't think, uh, yeah, it didn't have the uh, draft and set booster. So, yeah, Fighters 1. You still had a little bit less of an option for different cards. So there are still many more cards that are thought of inside this set because of this. So yeah, I'm still I still like it. So we've got a flag catcher. Forbidden friendship. Uh, why forbidden? We've got a Yurian and a human. Sky Nomad, another companion. And a companion that is also heavily played. So pretty much every commander pot that I uh, know, at least one player has it. Evolving Wilds, Sprite Dragon is a good one, Ominous Sea is a good one, and Slither Wisp. A uh, flash card. So, second pillar. And we're going over to the last one. And the Ominous Seas is gazing. We've got a courier box topper. Let's see what is coming out of the... What was it? Godzilla cards. Keep safe. And Dark Bargain with Passive Helm. The Auspicious Sterics. This is a nice card. Shark Typhoon. This is nice. Strongly thought a sought after card. Also was in the countdown pack. So the 30th anniversary countdown pack but not in the normal, originally, uh, yeah, magic frame. So this one still very, very nice. We've got a frenzied raptor, a dinosaur, blister splint, skull prophet is a good one, weapon as monsters, and a death oasis as enchantment. Interesting. So, Ikoria, Ikoria, Lair of the Behemoth. Behemoth doesn't want to come out. We will make it come out. Solid footing with the scorpion afterwards. In that and a dirge bed. <laughs> nice comic style for the dirge bed. Fun. Didn't even know this I had a comic style. <laughs> mutate flash flying. I don't know when mutate will come back but it definitely will and it will be strong definitely can't say anything else about that fertilite we've got king side myctos of brakos and a human soldier interestingly enough so yeah the mutate mechanism was extremely strong but only inside the set so yeah, I can't do much with it Another Shark Typhoon, very nice. And Double Swamp, <laughs> fun cards. Double Shark Typhoon, that's also very good. Still strongly played card for its effect of non-creatures. Uh, spells bring you big, may, mostly big uh, tokens. Anticipate for the Clash of Titans and Mictus of Nith. Nethroi. Yep, that's it called. Do we have all the myths now? Mythos? I don't exactly know. Uh, at least three of those we have. The red one, the green one. Oh well, let's see it later. We've got Blister Splint. Dire Tactics is good. Here's the f at least fourth one. And I don't know, maybe one is still missing, but... Red, black... Green, maybe the blue one is missing. Don't know. I've got a forbidden friendship. I've got an excavation with this zagot and an eerie ultimatum, fully grown. Nice, nice. 
several different ultimatums. Those are expensive, but when they drop, they drop hard. Normally. So, let us see. Facet Reader, go for the throat. Got the plummet, back for more. The best churn, and the snapdrax. Good one. This is a nice uh, mythic. The apex of the hand. The double striker. And four damage for every mutate, and you get for life. So this one is Mutate Leech. Yeah. Divine Error. We've got Sleeper Dart. Zenith Flare is a good one. And a Song of Creation. Nice. Strong, strong little cards inside here. Drowned Magistrate. This one is evil. The pure stacks card here. Got Unexpected Fangs. Keep safe. Parcel Beast, I, Unpredictable Cyclone. Interesting. Didn't know that. I have a cyc ah, cycling card. Interesting. I have to read that later a little bit better. But yeah. What else is interesting for you? Uh, a guy like me talking about a little bit of politics while opening or simply Voracious Great Chuck, the second one. Or simply making statements about the cards that I am drawing here. Let me know. And well, let's see what we have picked. So it was only three mythics for full box. Oh, maybe that's another one. Most probably that's another one. Almost forgot about the box topper. So King Caesar, the Evoken Titan. Okay, we've got uh, three in the box topper. Here. So Snapdrax, Luca, and Riel. So that's only three. But there are several strong cards like the Shark Typhoon. We've got the Mythos of Brokos. Dirge Pet is a fun thing. Another Shark Typhoon. There's another. Lutri was fun, also directly banned because of its usage. The Extinction Event and the Foiling is nice. The Evil Evil Magistrate. And Raugrind Trium with the Ozolith. So, yes, uh, yeah, I think we are lacking the blue one. And Los is a good card. But many of these cards have been banned, unfortunately. And, well, they are still played, for example, in Commander and so on. But uh, don't see much more play like uh, somewhere else. But still, good picks. Good picks. Thanks for watching.